I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Last week, the House Judiciary Committee held a marathon hearing on an assault weapons gun control bill. Things got heated between Wisconsin Republican Tom Tiffany and New York Democrat Mondaire Jones. The two were debating an amendment from Louisiana Republican Mike Johnson, which would have exempted crisis pregnancy centers from provisions of the gun control legislation. Tiffany accused Democrats of being, quote, the biggest gun salesman in America, to which Jones responded that was due to right-wing fear-mongering. Tiffany further decried the rise of crime, explicitly calling out Jones's home of New York City. Jones responded by blaming the gun policies of less liberal areas for creating an iron pipeline of illegal guns that reach his city. Watch the contentious debate now. I'll seek recognition. For what purpose does Mr. Roy seek recognition? I yield to my friend, Mr. Tiffany. Uh, if he wants time. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take. Uh, I just want to um, put some concluding remarks in regards to Mr. Johnson's amendment, which is a good amendment and really is about people being able to protect themselves. I have to say to our friends on the other side, as you shoot down these amendments and you have a bill like this, I hope you fully understand you are the biggest gun salesman in America. You truly are. You go back to the Obama administration, you go back, uh, uh, you go to now with this committee, that's advancing bills like this, people are gonna protect themselves. And when they see the cops in retreat, which they are in city uh, after city across America, people are going to protect themselves. Will the gentleman yield? And you heard the data. Yeah, absolutely. Sir, that is because people in right-wing media, as well as you, as my Republican colleagues, have convinced people and to continue to propagate the myth that the federal government, the big scary government, is coming after people's guns. The legislation we are considering today, for example, as has been stated repeatedly in this hearing, in this markup, will not result in the taking away of any currently lawfully possessed weapon. But that is not what you will hear tonight on Tucker Carlson or any other show on the Republican side. So th thank you very much for that, that it's the right wing media that's doing that. You clearly were not listening to Representative Roy and his description of what was going on in Minneapolis a couple years ago, where people are saying we have to protect ourselves because the police are in retreat, including in the city that you live in, in the city that used to be safe 20 years ago when you had broken windows policing, which was the model for protecting citizens. And now, and now look at where we're headed. City after city, record amounts of crime. Will prosecutors that won't prosecute. Will the gentleman yield? Including the prosecutor in New York, in Manhattan, who will not prosecute. And you wonder why will the gentleman people yield? want him. I, I will yield for 20 seconds. Sir, it is well established that the vast majority of illegally possessed weapons in New York City comes come from states where there are very lax gun laws, including many of the states in the South and other places where Republican policies are in place, such as Georgia, for example, which Congresswoman Lucy McBath can tell you more about, and Texas, which Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia can tell you more about. Um, you can continue to live with that myth to make yourself feel better for uh, the lawlessness that goes on in your city, but it's going on in cities across America, and it's because crime, you have prosecutors that are weak and not doing their jobs. You have an FBI that's not doing their job as they used to. Look at the Parkland shooting. That's exactly what happened down there. Part of the failure was the FBI to act on actionable information that they had. Someone else, uh, Representative Roy? Well, yeah, I, 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 I would reclaim my time. Um, I would note that um, uh, my, uh, with respect to whether or not my Democratic colleagues are coming after our guns, notwithstanding the specific language in this legislation, which of course would then ban future sales, which we know then where the dominoes fall, but I would note that uh, I've got an article here where uh, Mr. Mondaire Jones said, quote, semi-automatic weapons would qualify as assault weapons and they should be banned. 
quote, if the filibuster obstructs us, we will abolish it. Will the gentleman yield? If the Supreme Court objects, we will expand it, and we will not rest until we have taken weapons of war out of circulation out of our communities. We will do whatever it takes, whatever it takes. Will that, the is, that is the literal quote. Will the gentleman we'll do yield? do whatever it takes. It was, um, I'm, I'm going to yield back to the gentleman. You know, I think back to a couple weeks ago when we were having these interminable debates in regards to this, which, by the way, you're selling guns as you have debates like this. The American people are paying attention when they said, look at all these red states that are go uh, this is going on. Why is it going on? Because there's blue cities in those red states. All you got to do is look at Missouri. All you have to do is look at those areas where there is a blue city. That's where it's happening. I yield to the gentleman, back to the gentleman from Texas. Well, I, pr I appreciate the gentleman. I appreciate the sentiment on this, and I yield back to the chair. Gentleman yields back. Any further 